The movie opens at the San De Pedro Convention Center. Two officers sit at the front desk, talking about a popular comic book, The Blue Falcon, when they hear a noise. They go and investigate to find that it is a ghastly ghoul. The two security guards are swallowed by its cloud of smoke. Later that night, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo are at a college campus reading The Blue Falcon. Mr. Inc. are hoping to catch a minotaur. Scooby-Doo acts as the bait, hoping to lure it out so that Fred's booby trap can capture it. Scooby successfully gets the Minotaur's attention and leads it to the Mystery Inc. crew. They capture it and are rewarded the next day. They unmask the manic Minotaur. It is Horton. The group doesn't care why he did it because they're on their way to an important convention. Mystery Inc. leave the school campus and head to the Comic Con at San De Pedro Convention Center. Shaggy and Scooby-Doo hope to win the costume contest dressed as Blue Falcon and Diano Mutt. Velma tells the gang about a monster man at the convention center that she is interested in finding and unmasking. But Shaggy and Scooby-Doo don't want anything to do with any mysteries during the convention. The gang arrive at the convention and it's all Shaggy and Scooby-Doo could imagine. But unfortunately, the competition is stiff for the costume contest. They are intimidated, but still enter. When they are there, they meet Hank Prince, the owner of Shaggy's favorite comic book store. Hank asks Shaggy and Scooby-Doo to watch his nephew. Hank's nephew Austin tells Shaggy and Scooby they can meet Owen Garrison, the original Blue Falcon. There is no one at his booth. He no longer has fans and tells Shaggy and Scooby that the new movie is going to be the end of his downhill career. Meanwhile, Fred, Daphne, and Velma head to the new Blue Falcon trailer premiere, where they meet the eccentric producer, who announces the star of the new Blue Falcon movie. Owen Garrison embarrasses himself by acting up and telling everyone that he is the best Blue Falcon. The attendees watch the new Falcon trailer. Suddenly, the trailer is stopped by a real-life Mr. Hyde, Blue Falcon's arch-nemesis. The Mystery Inc. crew are the only ones who think something is off. Their assumptions are right when Mr. Hyde sends bats at all of the people in attendance. Hyde disappears shortly after causing all the chaos. Mystery Incorporated asks Mr. Becker, the head of security, if they can get involved and solve the mystery. Mr. Becker says no. He wants to close the conference, but is stopped by the mayor, who doesn't want to lose money by shutting things down. Instead, the mayor asks Mystery Inc. to help resolve the issue and save the conference. Fred, Daphne, and Velma ask Shaggy and Scooby about Mr. Hyde from the comic books so they can have an idea of what they are dealing with. Shaggy explains Mr. Hyde's origins in the comic books, how a failed experiment turned him into an actual nightmare. The gang tells Shaggy and Scooby to take the lead on the investigation. They go to the hotel to see if they can find any new clues from people who worked on the new movie. They meet the new Blue Falcon, who doesn't help them in any way. Suddenly, all the lights go off once again, and the dreaded Mr. Hyde reappears. When he arrives, they can see that several actors also went missing. The gang's list of possible suspects expands, and suddenly Mr. Hyde sends his evil dog to attack everyone present at the hotel. The gang runs and hides, in hopes of not getting killed. They manage to escape unharmed, and the evil dog runs off into the night. The next day, they go to the convention center, and they all suspect that there may be another attack. The gang tells Shaggy and Scooby that their hero may be behind all the Mr. Hyde craziness. Jack Rabble, a popular former TV personality, arrives and tells them that Mr. Garrison would never do what they suspect. Shaggy purchases a spying bot from Mr. Rabble in hopes of exonerating their hero. Meanwhile, Fred, Velma, and Daphne look at the old camera footage in hopes of proving their assumptions about Mr. Garrison. But Shaggy comes in and proves that there are other suspects. Shaggy says Jennifer Severin, the writer, producer, and director of the new movie, has a lot more to gain from the Mr. Hyde controversy. Then there is also Brad Adams, the new Blue Falcon who wishes that the franchise could collapse so that he can be taken seriously as an actor. Velma asks Mr. Becker for all access tickets to award Shaggy and Scooby for their efforts. This is a smart way for Velma, Daphne, and Fred to properly investigate Mr. Owen Garrison. 
Fred and Velma approach Owen Garrison and begin asking him questions. He exposes himself and even makes it more plausible that he is the criminal behind it all. They continue to follow closely for more evidence. Shaggy and Scooby overhear Jennifer Severin discussing her intentions of profiting from the next Mr. Hyde attack. They follow her in hopes of proving their suspicions to be correct. Velma finds a collection of episodes from The Blue Falcon, which shows what Mr. Hyde's next move will be. In the next episode of The Blue Falcon, Mr. Hyde will spray gas on all of the attendees. The gang goes to Mr. Becker to tell him what they think Mr. Hyde's next move will be, but he is uninterested and believes that what they assume is far-fetched. All the while, Shaggy and Scooby stumble directly into Mr. Hyde's evil lair, where they see him preparing for his big attack on all of the people in the convention. Then suddenly, they are spotted and Mr. Hyde shoots at them, but they escape and end up on the roof. They are cornered and run as fast as they can. Mr. Becker and the gang see Mr. Hyde on the CCTV camera, chasing Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. They quickly rush up to their rescue. But Mr. Hyde escapes on a giant helium balloon. He begins throwing all sorts of gas bombs to the ground. Shaggy and Scooby jump off at the top of a building and run away as fast as they can, hoping to not be touched by his monster slime. Mr. Becker calls the mayor and tells him about Mr. Hyde's evil plan. Shaggy and Scooby get hit by the slime, and Shaggy realizes that the evil slime is pistachio. The mayor fires Mr. Yank because of the huge mistake that they made in alerting everyone about a threat. They're embarrassed that they let themselves become laughing stocks. Suddenly, Daphne gets a call from Mr. Rabble, who tells the Mr. Yank crew that he can't seem to find Owen. The gang wants to continue investigating, but Shaggy and Scooby-Doo are uninterested after making themselves jokes. The remaining group wants to enter the convention center, but Mr. Becker decides that the crew is banned from entering. Austin tells the gang that he can help them find a way to get back in. He gets them disguises and they walk into the building where they have to figure out where Mr. Hyde's lair may be. Austin tells them that if Hyde is going by the episode sequencing, his next move is to become a giant and destroy the city. The gang finds that Mr. Hyde has hacked into the convention's security, where he has been observing the whole building and the baseball stadium. The stadium is where the Blue Falcon premiere will be happening. The gang realizes that Mr. Hyde may have planned and wanted this to happen the whole time. He may have wanted to make the convention center too dangerous so that the premiere could happen at the baseball stadium. When the movie premieres, Mr. Hyde appears as a giant. He destroys the screen and ends the movie. Everyone runs away from the stadium in fear of getting destroyed by Mr. Hyde. He corners little Austin, and the gang has to do something to save him before it's too late. Shaggy and Scooby-Doo rush to Austin's rescue just in time. Mr. Hyde continues to destroy everything in sight as a giant. The gang shoots at Mr. Hyde with a t-shirt gun and tie his feet together. He comes crushing to the ground. When he hits the ground, they realize he is a giant animatronic robot, being controlled by Owen Garrison. The gang appears to have been right about their assumption. Owen Garrison pleads that he is innocent. He says he was knocked out and put into the robot. Owen Garrison blames the new Blue Falcon actor and the producer of the film. He is escorted away. Shaggy and Scooby chase down the real Mr. Hyde. They fight the hideous Hyde Hound and the evil Mr. Hyde. They lead the real Mr. Hyde directly to the baseball stadium. He is surrounded by cops and uses sleeping gas to make them all sleep. All is lost until Owen Garrison reappears in his Blue Falcon costume. He and Scooby-Doo fight off Mr. Hyde and the hideous Hyde Hound. Owen Garrison also knocks down Mr. Hyde with the help of Scooby-Doo. They remove the mask and find that the real Mr. Hyde is Jack Rabble. The old TV personality explains that he did it because his show was banned. He came up with a brilliant plan to create Mr. Hyde to rob the convention of all of its money. Owen Garrison gets recast in the Blue Falcon sequel and he's grateful to Mr. Yank for helping him. Thrilling film comes to an end.
Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. I'll be back with another interesting movie recap. Until then, take care.